now we are going to create a project plan in Microsoft project by inserting the task activities and WBS for our new housing project a single story house project there is a construction stage in construction stage pre, this pre-construction stage pre-construction stage we have initial plan preparation finalization of architectural design and structural details we will insert duration against the activities 30 days 45 days 24 days we will continue to insert all the activities as per the discussed plan. Now we are almost entering all the activity and durations. 3, 5, 1 day for completion. Okay. As we scroll up and we can see all the activities has been entered and the respective durations has been entered. We just adjust this task bar, task menu in vertical splitter so that we, it could be more detailed and more visible. We move up this horizontal splitter bar. The next stage is we have to link all these activities. Before we link, we have to separate the, we have to group activities under WBS. I'll be formatting the WBS by filling color. Foundation work is a WBS. Construction stage is a WBS. Substructure and superstructure is a WBS. Architectural and interior works at WBS. Final stage works is at WBS. Now I have to group all these activities under this WBS. So we will do it from the start. Pre construction stage comes under. We have to indent. We go here and click this to indent. Now pre construction stage is coming under single housing project. We can indent this, we can outdate this task. Okay, this cannot be outdated because we are not we have not indented it earlier. First, we'll move all these activities under pre-construction stage. You can select you can select like this and indent indent under pre-construction stage. We can notice the summary, we can zoom into the details. Now it is month wise. Similarly, all the excavation foundation works are grouped under foundation work. Now this will be the WPS. This comes under construction stage will indent into the construction stage if we want to outdent we can outdent using this clicking on this all the substructure items are indented under substructure works substructure and superstructure all the architectural and interior works are indented under architectural and interior works the moment i indent you can notice all the activities this is the summary bar this is the activity bar now the final stage of works all the activities are indented under final stage now again the summary of the final stage works and all the indented one for one day we cannot see the activity or bar we can only insert as a milestone 
we want to see we have to zoom zoom in into the level of details so now we can see we can change this as a milestone later i'll show how to change it as a milestone now we have more details here we have to check whether all the wbs is come under housing project or not no then we have to indent into the single housing project so we while we click it everything will go under it so we indent this into the single housing project this also and this final stage works also then we click on the single story housing project and re-click then all the activities and the total duration is stated here start and finish this is before linking the activities after linking the activities the total duration will of course it will increase depending on the, upon the linking relationship so now this this is an auto scheduled icon we can we have to check whether manual scheduled or auto scheduled so all the activities task modes which are manually scheduled is click and changed into auto scheduled you have to change all the activities you have to click here and make it auto scheduled all the activities at once are auto scheduled to link a schedules activities and create a relationship i will have to insert predecessor and successor column or either way i can select details here so i can change to predecessor and successor i can assign directly by adding the id like if i say for four the predecessor is three i'll choose this three the relationship is finished to start lag is zero days now you can see the three is the predecessor for four activity instead of doing this in a complex way i'll just keep on inserting here the numbers there is already predecessor column i'll add a successor column by clicking right clicking insert column type s go to successors click ok and adjust it to smaller column for for three this is the first activity so there are no predecessor activity this is the project start date so for five after submitting the plan and utility to authority then only we can finalize drawings so we click as a finish to start five we can assign four five four f as it it means four finish to start finalization finalization of construction materials also it is after finalization finalization of architectural drawings and structural drawings so we click 5 fs enter press enter you can zoom out to reduce them so we can notice the changes here so the linking is visible in the chart it is one after the other after predecessor the successor will start this is the finish to start relationship excavation works can be started after finalization of architectural design and structural details we no need to wait until finalization of construction material so we'll add 5 fs so after this this activity could also be started and installation of foundation footing can be concurrent to excavation suppose we have five areas we need to excavate if we have already excavated three areas then we can start start to start nine uh, nine start to start plus four days 
by adding plus 4 we are saying that after 9 SS starts after 4 days the 10th ID activity will start so it is the this is how the start to start relationship is visible in the chart area construction of plinth beam and backfilling this is only after installation of foundation footing so 10 fs click enter so we keep on adding all the kind of relationships here sorry i just moved this activity there now we are at the final activity the predecessor we need to enter the id 25 the testing after testing and and over of the house the final finish milestone is achieved now we are done with adding uh, activities indenting under wbs adding durations linking the activities predecessor and successor and we can see the relationships and their impact start to start this all our field is to start you can see the start to start can be adding plus four days and sometimes finish to start minus four days or five days there are different vari variation in the relationship we can make it we can add or modify I'll move I'll move this vertical splitter bar I'll add the predecessor and successor now we are almost done with inserting the activity 